Hello everybody, this is a game between Nig Kakios something or whatever, some germ Greek name, uh, and me. I'm using USA, looks like a ADAT, so Commonwealth probably. Playing on uh, Mudfight, everyone's favorite tactical 10v10 map for some reason. And uh, just gonna fast forward, get to the deployment. Trying to figure out what I want to deploy. I don't really know what I want to do on this map. Trying out different tactics and just checking things out. Just trying not to play meta because it's kind of boring. And, you know, just heavy infantry spam and then have one or two really good units that you keep alive like crazy. Okay. So right off the bat, I bring a Raven. He brings a Tornado F2. Not good for me. All right, let's see. He brings two Challenger Mark One Mark Ones. So decent tanks. Pretty good actually. Um, and a whole bunch of auto cannon vehicles and an ADATS for AA. Did he have it? And a man pad squad, I think. Yeah, right here. Okay. Then over here, he's going to bring a lot of units two ATGM, two man pad. Wow, that's a heavy hold on that city. Tracked rapier, Vickers. Yeah, so this is a general Commonwealth deck. And I am using Raven, Humvee. I'm doing a light push onto the left. I just want to hold it with recon so that I can use planes to kill. Pivads and Chaparral. Whole bunch of shitty vehicles. I'm trying out the CEV. I'm figuring that the CEV will be pretty friggin' useful on this area, but it takes forever to get there. Uh, Bradley's to go fight things at range and also kill autocannon vehicles on their own because they, they're better at autocannon killing. Uh, Super M60 because I got rid of the what is it? M1IP Abrams. I just like this more. The AGS is too light armored. It can get rocket potted out by a plane or a helicopter. Super M60 has optics, can take a hit from auto cannons. So I'm just using that. I got my two infantry squads over here, my recon. But he has a crap load more infantry. And for some reason, he's getting there first. So I'm like, eh, screw it, run away. Bradley's firing missiles, take one out. I tell them to attack move forward, which was probably the worst idea ever. I should really give them targets, because they waste missiles on that. And then ADATs hit my... going for the helicopter. I'm trying to buy a plane, probably. Yes, Thunderbolt. Because I see a lot of his units. I need to keep that ADATs lit, so that I can take it out. Because this is a really big pickup if I get it. Fire and forget hits. And uh, almost take out a tank. ATGMs go out, take out one. Thunderbolt will survive because there's very little AA. So I'm pretty much trying to say that the meta right now is a lot of infantry, very little AA, and planes survive against AA. So he just got out of range of the Bradleys. I'm moving forward, and uh, that's not the right thing. I don't know why they're moving forward. I thought I told them A move, so they would have been fighting the Canadian rifles, but the higher health Bradley comes in. I bring my Harrier, I want to kill his AA piece, kill it, because I kill his AA piece, now I want to use um, an attack helicopter. So Harrier GR7, he puts two into that Super M60, and what do you know, it doesn't kill it, thankfully. My units are fighting, I'm winning, but I'm pretty much buying really light stuff, not things I can kill. I lost uh, the scout vehicle 25 point to the Vickers, probably, or an ATGM. Yeah, Milan squads. Vulcans getting shot at, and just like, oh shit, didn't realize that. Lucked out that its path was terrible. Riflemen and Rangers firing, Pivads over here, Super M60 in somewhat trouble. He's using a Puma to get his recon squads out, which I agree with. It, it's nice to have recon and helicopters, you can flank with them, but he's not using them to flank. He has a tornado again, so he's probably going to be bombing this area. Especially with the G yeah, GR7 rather, probably bombing. But um... Yeah, he has a lot of points over here, so I keep putting points there I really shouldn't have. And he has a crap load of cheap shit over here. It's pretty much a really good hold. I 
I needed to focus over here. I don't know why I kept putting units over here, but really it doesn't pay off. I have a Pivads here. He should have been killing the Pivads with a GR7, but he really wanted that uh, Super M60. Because, I mean, he has tanks. He could have killed it, but the AA pieces, so that he can just continuously plane the attack. But he didn't. It's his choice, whatever. Clearly it's working. I'll go fast forward a little. It's kind of slow. I thought that this guy was a mechanized user, but he has a Vickers. I don't think that's mechanized. It is. I think it's mechanized that he's using because he has one, two, three, four, five. I think. TH7. Let's see. No. Maybe it is just normal. It's interesting. Considering uh, it's not very many infantry squads, I think. He has Fusiliers, Fusiliers. I bring in a Thunderbolt. F16 to fight that stuff. F16 did absolutely nothing to that th tornado afterwards, which sucked. But at least it lived. I lost my uh, plane, the attack one. So that's bad. Lab, lab scout essentially flanking around. Didn't see it. He buys a radar piece even though I have seed. It's interesting. He has a lot of fire support so I'm trying to get my rangers out. Because it's just not going to work out for me. Now that he's in a dominant position, he's pretty much just bringing recon everywhere. Which is a good idea. Like, you know, if you have planes, recon is like your favorite thing to use, so you can just plane everything down. Either bomber or target precision or, you know, ATGMs, guided missiles like GR7. So I bought a CV. I don't think that was a smart thing to do. I'm like 100 plus points down, but whatever. I'm just trying to see what he does to handle this Twin Huey. I bring, I've been pretty much using small to flank around. I really want to get to his backside. And he knows that I'm doing that because he saw helicopters deploy. I bring a Bradley, which really, I should have started off with a Bradley, brought it over here. Those uh, ATGM Bradleys should have been over here. Tornado comes in, Raven. Tornado, does it get it? Yes, it does. Takes that out. GR7 survived. Nope, GR7. Yeah, it survives. No plane crashing to the ground. Placing a CV over there is interesting. So I'm bringing units over here when I really shouldn't have. I should have just left this all alone. I needed to fight here, but... So pretty much I'm trying to get an angle where the challenger can't fire and I can kill everything. I'm trying to keep the pivads alive. A chaparral over here really won't... A chaparral anywhere over here will not really do its job very well. It might do it over here, but... I know that he has uh, ATGMs in his deck, so... I'm trying to avoid it. One... Two... Yeah, this guy doesn't have uh, as much infantry as I thought. Interesting. Let's see. These guys, but he upvets his infantry. I don't know. That's. Uh, I have a feeling that it is mechanized. Like they're just too high veteran. Yeah. That's silly. That mechanized gets a vickers. It shouldn't be right. I brought an Apache because. I wanted to use ATGMs, and I did kill one of his tanks, eventually. <laughs> Small squad, killing some stuff, out of ammo eventually, but, you know. I'm trying to put up the good fight. I didn't see the track rapiers, and uh, they fired <laughs> right underneath it, so that should kill it, even with 60% ECM. My fob barely used, so I'm trying to get this Apache back to base. I'm not a very good at unit conservation, as you can tell. Uh, let's see. Trying to bring Twin Hueys. Pretty much just trying to deploy units over here so that he's forced to bring shitty units over here. 
I think, yeah, Met and I should get an ADATS. I have Twitch up. I'm trying to read Twitch while I cast this. So I bring the Harrier, just trying to see what's over here. I want to protect it. GR7, he sees this. I should have kept the M60 keep going forward to keep the Vulcan alive. I don't want him to be able to use helicopters over here. Small squads trying to do what they can, but, you know, there's just so much infantry. This is definitely a mechanized tech, because there's, these guys are so up vetted, it's just ridiculous. I think that missile landed and actually killed a guy. Couldn't tell. Maybe leave comments and tell me. But yeah, th this is not looking good for me. He owns all the buildings. I have nothing to take him out. With the CEV change such that it can't fire at anything except for 1050 meter, it really just kills the unit's efficiency. Because it, it travels so slowly off-road that it can't get into position in time. And then I'm like, oh, I haven't really tested this side, and I'm losing the right. Maybe he doesn't have stuff here. So, the Vickers, not long enough to spot. <laughs> so that sucked. GR7 coming in. Probably going to kill the Rangers. Kills a recon. And I don't take it out. It's crazy. HGM squad got rocket potted down. The lab scout finally decides to go over the mountain. Yeah, I'm expecting the CV to go here because I've been controlling this area. See the CEV, it does do some damage and it does, it seems to fire a little bit closer. I don't know if it fires at 350 meter or less. I haven't really been able to test that. Small getting beaten. GR7 coming in. Harrier trying to do stuff, trying to kill the GR7, which we did. So I'm winning this fight, but look at all the units he's bringing in. Oh, he has Eric's finally coming in. And he has auto cannons, and I have nothing to fight auto cannons over here. These two auto cannon vehicles, more than enough. Small squad taken out by uh, auto cannons. Just very unfortunate for me, all the auto cannon use, how effective he has been with it. I brought two Rifleman squads, two Bradleys, but it's not going to go well. He has a Vickers and this Milan squad. <laughs> Which has been missing for now. So this Aslav's over here. My helicopter gets taken out by the tracked rapiers, probably. Somewhere around here. My attack helicopter that went over here died. Yeah, I know that he has Milan squads, so yeah, I'm just in a really bad position. Mechanized really puts the pain on. Just a lot of good, useful infantry. Fusiliers are pretty good 70%, 20 rate of fire for 22 AP. It's really good. Two of them will just dominate any vehicle you bring up. He's bringing Centurions to be like, I got them too. I guess he saw their effectiveness over here. They're nice fire support, but I'd rather have a tank, it's more versatile. That's why I brought the M60 back into my deck and got rid of the Centurion. I use a CS for what the Centurion can do, and the CS can hit helicopters, so... Moving helicopters, you can use the Centurion to fire at position, but pretty difficult. So I know he has an Aslav over there because it fired at this helicopter. GR7 coming in. Not really anymore. So he knows I have a CV. I have a Bradley trying to fight that. I know it's there. I have this Bradley. I'm trying to bring it up without dying to the Milan squad. But like I just have nothing that I can do over here. I have very little I can do over here with all the Milans. He just owns it. This is why you gotta fight for this town over here. It gives so much control. So here's the thing that I was confused about. I thought I brought the Rifleman out, and the Bradley was the one that sat. But um, it went the other way around for whatever reason. So I missed my grid probably. The 
bring in a whole bunch of uh, anti, well, auto cannon helicopters. Because he's like, well, I got everything else. Which, I, you know, I don't blame him. I don't really consider this spam when I've been doing the same two group at a time. And he's like, screw it, kill everything you got. So he has two Eryx squads. They were changed in this patch, I don't really know too much on it, but people aren't using them as much. Twin Hueys, miniguns, do some decent work. But with Centurions coming on the field, I'm pretty much in a bad spot. He takes out my AA piece, which I was using to hit plane, uh, infantry. The block, I believe, takes something out. I mean, firing all that should. So yeah, he, he did a really good job holding this. I think that if I just beat Bradley there and just take my time. I stayed in this. I should have left. Like, I was being dominated, but I wanted to see what would happen. So I'm going to fast forward. I wanted to test this area next, because I had nothing left to do. F-111C comes in. He's like, oh, I know where that is. And it gets bombed out. <laughs> For a change, it lets me drop the units off before the vehicle gets taken out. So he doesn't really have a fighting force here, but he has bombers coming up. Here's his next infantry and a helicopter at Chinook. I'm just trying to waste missiles and fight stuff like that. Harrier GR7, sending a block over it, not a good idea. Second block gets hurt. This ranger squad taking forever to get inside the buildings. Get dominated by the commandos on their own. Which I thought is really weird that the mini-me was that effective. Firing from the side. It's kind of sad that these guys don't have 2275 or 2250 range. Like most tanks. That price. But I guess they have optics and stuff. So a T-72A has that range. Better armor less gun. So I, I take out all his stuff over here. My plane does not take out his F-111C, I thought it did. And so here's another one, and I think he takes out the CV. No, lucky me. That's why I like it so fast. He brings a Chieftain Mark II, 80 points versus Super M60s. His mortar use, four of them. Interesting, yeah. Somehow one MG3 stunned these guys. And, uh, they're taking forever to get into the buildings, and his mortars did a lot of work, killed a squad. So yeah, and then he brings Sasser, doing a good job. He brings a Leo C2, fighting the Super M60s. That explains why I couldn't spot it. I was wondering how did I lose one, what else I lost to it. F-111C, same bombing run. I just leave it. It's like, eh, you probably missed. Two tanks coming in, so I got sandwiched. I bring the CV out, so I'm like, eh, it's probably gonna be bad. I kill one of his planes, finally. <laughs> so yeah, he has a pretty good mix of units. Lab scouts firing at side armor slowly. Vulcan takes out one helicopter. Chieftain Mark II, probably gonna kill all these vehicles. So this Chieftain Mark II is a lot better than a M1 IP, but it is slower for Ode. I buy another Apache, take it out. A whole bunch of Lynx AH7s again. I don't know why he doesn't use these, but, you know, it works. I was like, oh, I'll bring a DAP. Then he brings Track Rapiers. So I'm trying to relocate my units that I could. And since he has recon over there, I can't tell that he knew. And he has 40 Sasser. And then F-111C comes in and bombs most of my units. So I got no hope. Because the CSs would have suppressed it and the la that stuff would have been fine. But he did a really good job of holding that stuff off. And uh, I did not realize it was actually mechanized. So it was just like, ah. Uh, so many good units at good rank, experience rather, training. So yeah, he did a really good job. Uh, good game. Hope you enjoyed.